you've been to hell and back, though, when you think about it here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I didn't. you had the concussion, and then we waited for you to come back. When did you start feeling good or good enough to even talk about it? Uh, well, I had to. I was pretty transparent during the whole process, and that was, number one, the reason for that was just for my own peace of mind. I didn't want people wondering about me or making their own assumptions and getting bad information out there. So I thought, you know, I'm in control of it with social media and everything that we have now at our fingertips. I can control the narrative and help people understand how bad this is or what I'm dealing with. And so they're not is they're not impatient. I think my doctors told me to keep the stress level down, and that was going to be uh, – that was going to help me recover quicker if I was less – stressed and so i needed to get that off my mind people worrying about me wondering about me pushing wondering when i'm going to return so if they could see it with their own eyes they could relax and i could relax did you ever think about retiring oh yeah i mean when you when you're at its worst when 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 you're feeling your worst you don't want to do nothing that puts you there right so i wasn't blaming racing but i didn't want to get back in a car because uh because I was feeling this way that's you know the car got me there in a sense uh so what, what what's the worst day uh well you know you get up you you get up and you f almost can't get off the couch like uh, your balance is so bad that standing up to get off the couch is uh, or turning a corner and you know walking through uh through the kitchen turning a corner opening the fridge turning your head going from the fridge to the cabinet just doing a 180 uh with you know, you almost fall over. Uh, your eyes are shaking with every step. Your eyes, you can't keep your eye on a target 10 feet away. Every step knocks your eyes off that target and they kind of bounce around and you can't find what you were looking at. You have to stand perfectly still to be able to see anything. Did you get nauseous? Lots of, yeah, I had some nausea. Um, I, you know, every concussion is different. Every guy has different symptoms. Some people have different issues, sight or, or, or mental issues and what have you, mood issues. Everybody faces it uh, a different way and, and needs different styles of treatment. But, uh, it, yeah, when it was bad, I did, I, you don't even care about racing. I know it's hard to understand or hard to realize, you know what that means, but when you're sick, you just want to be better. I had my wedding coming up on New Year's Eve. Um, hunting season was coming up in November. I had all these things. I'm like, I told my doctor, I said, there's, uh, I don't want to get, I don't want to have any symptoms at my wedding. You know, that's all I cared about was just being able to go through that with a clear mind and be able to enjoy it. You know, every day was not even tolerable with those symptoms. And so I wanted, you know, and he's like, all right, man, you know, we're going to work hard. You're going to work hard. We're going to fix it. And we did. And by by November, the days were tolerable. All this started in in July. Uh, but all, you know, the the days became tolerable around November. You know, starting in November, I think, uh, you know, I got into deer stand, um, you know, 20 feet in the air, uh, holding a bow and arrow. I got to be able to stand up on this uh, tiny little platform to shoot and all that. And I felt confident enough about my balance at that point that I was checking. I started checking boxes like, all right, man, this is I'm going to be fine. You know, what was that first time behind the wheel? December uh, 14th, we went to Darlington and ran for five hours, probably 200 laps. And the first three or four laps felt uh, it didn't fit like a glove. You know, it didn't. It felt uh, I felt it felt a little cumbersome. I didn't have any symptoms, but I just felt raw and and not. You know, when you go to even when you go to even after racing for year after year after year, every time you go to Bristol, for example, it's so fast that your mentally takes you about thirty laps to sort of get caught up to what you're seeing. Your mind to get in that mode and see. Things happening so quickly to be able to react to them just right. And that's kind of what I went through the first three laps. The first three or four laps, I, I was getting up to speed mentally with what I was seeing and, and feeling in the car. By the end of the day, I felt like me and the car were one piece. Like, I, me and the car were one piece. And, and that's exactly how you want to feel. I felt completely comfortable in everything I was feeling. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.